assembly undivided carriageway divided carriageway and components in the previous video you have learned how to apply an assembly along an alignment in this video you will learn more about designing a complete assembly along with its components an assembly is a combination of several components like main carriageway cut fill slopes drains service roads in e survey cat we can combine all these components together to form a complete assembly and apply it along the alignment main carriageway main carriageway further has sub items like median carriageway paved shoulder earthen shoulder let us create a divided carriageway and understand all the related items to create an assembly you have to button next to assembly drop down you create an assembly by name tcs1 tcs stands for typical cross section or any name is allowed select tcs1 from assembly drop down and now component details group gets enabled you select main road from component type click on the button next to the component which opens road default window here you can refer various parameters related to main roads such as median width cross fall on either side curb details you can also mention carriage way width camber paved shoulder width earthen shoulder width camber and side slope ratio if required update the values as per project requirement updating value here are like updating the default further these factors can be changed for each assembly if required close road defaults window now click button next to component drop down since we have selected main road as component type road type will have selected item of component type we can define multiple road base you create a road base as main and select the same we can enable median as we are defining a divided carriage way here we can select items like paved shoulder earthen shoulder and side slope on either side if we have to align left carriage way of the road on lme and right carriage way on rme then respective alignments can be selected from drop down after making required selection click on create button to update the main road base once it is saved by default it will have some design layers such as bc dbm etc you can modify each layer's height starting point extent property inner width outer width hatch property for each design layer you can either delete the existing design or add more layers in this window after making the necessary changes click on apply button we can also configure which of these items have to be reflected items have to be reflected in area table when we generate the cross section by clicking on area button after coming back to create road assembly window after defining the road base we can select the same from component drop down now you have to specify a reference point for an application if you want this component to run on parent alignment then select absolute as your choice if you want this component to run on any specified alignment then select that alignment name click on the save button to add this component to selected assembly with this we have defined the main road for the project we have the option to select each component that we add to assembly to be considered for earthwork calculations or not if you have to assign a block drawing at any of the component point we can assign the same by clicking on block button and then selecting the respective component item and related drawing for example you want to show a tree block at center of median such requirements can be met with e survey cad now we can add other components to assembly if required let us say you want to add cut fill slope to the main road then click on new select cut fill slope click on drop down button next to component create required cut fill items say cfl and cfr to represent cut fill left and cut fill right select cfl from the drop down select left side and give the filling slope and cutting slope and save it in cut fill slopes window close the window and select cfl from component drop down select main underscore base underscore left component from reference drop down here select left most as the reference point you can also give the offsets in terms of x and y 
Click on Save. You may note that new component gets added to the existing assembly component list. Likewise, we can add drain, service road to assembly. These are some of the typical cross-section assemblies prepared in eSurvey CAD. In the next video, we will understand how to apply the template when existing road is retained and proposed road is widened considering existing road. Thank you.